All right, hello everyone. This is actually take two. I tried to go live earlier today and it didn't work out. Hopefully I got that all deleted and you didn't see um, that hiccup. <laughs> We've had a pretty big snowstorm and I feel like power and internet has been a little bit off and on for me in all my different places. So I hope all of you are safe and warm wherever you are and that you stay that way in the coming days. So I wanted to um, check in and go live and chat with you all today about something that I think we've all heard about, we probably all said, and we definitely know, but hopefully I'm not the only one that maybe needs a reminder every now and then. Talking about the idea of comparison being the thief of joy. And so, like I said, you know, I think we've all heard that said before. We've all probably even said that a time or two to others or even to ourselves. But then we turn around and we're doing it to ourselves all the time, right? So if we think about social media is an obvious and easy example. We look around and we scroll through our feeds and we think and convince ourselves that someone else is a better parent than I am, or they have a better relationship. They are furthering their career faster than I am, or they're achieving more than I am. They're making more than I am. Everything they're trying to do in their business is working and is perfect, and everyone likes them better. They have more followers, more likes, more success, on and on and on, right? Uh, we all we all do it. And it's so easy to do, which is why I think it's something we all fall into and is something we probably need a little bit of reminder about. So let me know as I'm chatting if this is resonating with you. Also, if you have tricks and tips for us about how you avoid doing this other than ignoring everything, <laughs> which maybe isn't a bad idea all the time, but um, it's so much harder to do that right thing, right? And to not compare ourselves or not make those, those judgments. And comparing ourselves really is the thief of joy. And it really is so damaging because we're ending up seeing ourselves somehow as less. We see ourselves in all the ways that we think we're not stacking up or comparing to at least what we imagine um, someone else has or is doing. And in the yoga realm, people do this all the time in yoga as well. They look around um, in class, they see others and they compare, right? Oh, they, so-and-so, they look better in that pose than I do. They go further into that pose than I do. They held that pose longer than I did. I'm struggling more than anybody else in this class, or I just can't do all the things everyone else is doing. And just like with regular life, that leads people to thinking that they are somehow less or that their yoga practice was somehow less because they didn't do what they think other people are doing, what they're comparing their practice to those around them. And in doing so, we miss out, right, on all the wins and all the progress that we have made. That's the thieving part, right? Comparison is the thief of joy. We're totally missing out on what our achievements are and what we have actually done. And usually, for the record, these comparison judgments that we are making are usually false. And sometimes, in yoga, after a yoga class, someone will maybe share with me a few of the comparisons that they were making. And they always fail to realize when they were stronger, right? Or the poses that were really successful for them, especially if they were improvements and progress for them, they don't mention any of that. They focus, and this is again, what we all tend to do as humans, we're focusing on where we think we don't measure up, where we think we are behind or lacking. And yoga is not a comparison. 
And life should not be a comparison. And so if you are going to compare anything, if you must, at least look at the long term. Zoom out and still just focus on you. Not comparing you to someone else, but zooming out from you over the long term. How far have you come? And do it truly and completely and honestly, not just focusing on the mistakes or the missteps, which means you also then have to give yourself credit and reflect upon your wins, the ups, the good moments, the successes, the progress. And we're all works in progress. Yoga is always a practice itself. It's not the end and not something that you check the box and say, I have mastered, right? And so we talk a ton in yoga about not comparing ourselves to others or even one practice to the next because every practice is its own and is unique and it's about showing up, not about that comparison to well, how was that pose today compared to that pose yesterday? So comparison is the thief of joy. Keep your eyes on your own mat and your own map and show yourself grace out there. You deserve it. Keep working on you, working on those goals, and just focus on that, right? Zoom out, only looking at you and the path that you have taken because your path is unique. You have had detours and obstacles and hurdles that are unique to your experience. So it's not fair to compare to anyone else. It would be that apples and oranges, as they say. So keep your eyes and your focus on your own mat. Show up each day. Don't even compare today's practice to yesterday's practice. Just keep your eyes on your own mat, your own map, and enjoy the joy. Don't let that comparison take that from you and be the thief of your joy and your progress. And yoga <laughs> and live and be filled with um, happiness. So hopefully if that resonated with you let me know in the comments um i always think it's good to be reminded of that this time of year i think it's always maybe hopefully good to be reminded of that especially if you're restarting something or going back to working on those goals and you're comparing yourself to someone who's much further down the the journey down the road than you don't compare yourself just keep working on the goals that you have set for yourself show yourself grace. And I hope to see you on the mat soon. Let me know um, if I can help you in any way. And um, I'm always happy to answer questions or to chat. So deep breaths, have a great one out there and I'll see you next time.